Well, a really solid performance by the Ravens on a short week on the road in Tampa Bay. As we all know, I put a lot of value in being able to win on the road. This was a big win. And some really creative play calling by Greg Roman, particularly in the second half, leading to a, a Ravens night, 231 yards rushing uh, against a pretty good Bucks defense. But let's look at a couple plays where some of this creativity really jumped out at me. First one, this is a beautifully designed play. Uh, Leonard Bowen and Zeitler are going to double team and working to the right and work to the second level. Okay, Powers and Stanley on the left side also double and also work to the left. Now this is what really gets interesting. Likely pulls from the back side. Now we've seen this combination all the time where you let the defensive end go and you're going to see Lamar fakes to Edwards. Now he can either give or he can fake and you typically see him go to the outside and follow the block of this time on Likely. Likely was able to bypass the defensive end because he was too far upfield. Lamar sees this, he now kind of follows on the inside. Now what I really want you to see is watch how Linderbaum works up. He blocks his man and maintains contact almost for 20 full yards. Great job by the receivers down the field. Lamar obviously doing what Lamar does. Great job cutting back. But this was just a spectacular design play. Just a, just a fun play to watch. Next one is just a simple zone play. But again, what I want you to watch and bring your focus to is the downfield blocks of Linderbaum and Moses and Ricard and how they maintain their blocks all the way down the field. And then, as we talked about last week, the physical downhill running style of Gus Edwards, slashing, getting down the field. This is just a very simple, straightforward play that you can obviously do because Tampa Bay is also waiting for something else to happen because of all the movement and Lamar on the outside. Now, next we're we'll getting into the passing game and it was nice to see likely uh, in absence of Andrews. It was tough to lose Andrews, but likely after we see him in preseason and the impact he can have. Here you're going to see uh, the Ravens empty out the backfield. Well, what does that do? Well, uh, when the linebacker runs with Drake, Lamar knows now it's man coverage, and that's going to affect where he goes with the ball. At the top of the formation, it's a bunch set and likely sets the bunch. He's filling in for the Mark Andrews here, and he sets the bunch, and he ends up running basically a shallow cross. Because Lamar sees that it's man coverage, he knows exactly where he's going to go with the ball. Nice tight hole in the likely, and they get a really good, solid 17-yard gain. Next, this is kind of a fun, fun play. Oliver shifts down from the backside from a slot, and this, this has got run written all over it. You can see Ricard basically kind of builds a trip out to the strong side. They sprint to the right. Now this looks to the defense, obviously like it's gonna be kind of sprint option because Lamar's got the ball. You've got uh, Drake trailing in behind. This is gonna be a run all the way. Well, watch the way the defense reacts to this play. They have to flow with it. It totally draws the linebackers up likely then sneaks in with a little bench route in behind it and gets a nice gain as well for 16 yards. All right, now let's look at a, a touchdown down in the red zone. Now, this is a very typical play in the red zone. Everybody kind of runs it, where basically what you do, Ricard comes into motion to balance up the set. And a good play action fake is obviously many of the plays with the Ravens are going to start to try to get the whole linebackers to hold. Likely sets the bunch and runs a deep route at the end of the end zone while Robinson and Prochet run crossing routes to pick off one another, one place off the other, typically for man coverage. Well, the Bucks cross them up and they run a zone package. So now immediately Lamar doesn't have any place to go, does a great job of buying some time, getting outside of the pressure, waiting for Likely to move along the back of the end zone into one of the voided zones. Lamar clearly could have pulled the ball down here and taken off, and he'd probably been fine in doing so and gotten some yards. But he recognized with the zone and with likely moving along the back of the end zone, if he could just buy some time, he was going to be able to find a hole, and that's exactly what he did for the TD throw. This next play is kind of fun, and it's, an, it's a play that we saw both teams utilize during the course of the game. It was basically an RPO, a run-pass option. In this instance, Ricard's motions back from the top, and he's going to work his way out to what amounts to a bunch on the weak side. Now, the offensive line is running a counter play. The backside guard and tackle are pulling, and this gives the option, and you're going to see uh, Gus Edwards could have gotten the ball and, and probably done very well with the counter play. But Lamar's got to recognize, you can see with the motion, the defense stays static. They don't rotate out. They maintain the box because obviously they're anticipating the run. And the number count says that the counter 
probably wasn't going to work. They do nothing in the secondary on the backside. When Ricard moves across, you can see Duvernay step back to get the one-step screen. Likely does a good job chasing down the lead coverage, as does uh, Ricard as he comes out. So this was a clear RPO. The box stays static. Lamar pulls it out, hits the one-step quick screen to Duvernay, and obviously it's a, it's a big game for 13 yards. So some really creative play calling, uh, particularly in the second half. Uh, the Ravens have well-deserved mini buy here after a Thursday night game. They got on the go on the road again to New Orleans and see if they can maintain this style of play going down into the Big Easy.